Welcome again to JD and the Some City. This time up on Scatter Scratch, we're going to be doing a piece from Some City Radio, one of the the resident slopper that they have, Cannabella Fritz, um, and we're going to be doing a Bistro Bella piece. This started out as just a little bit of an idea, and then I was pawing through some 3D prints that I had, and uh, it's going to turn into a whole gang uh, pretty quick here. Um, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this should have a few more builds coming up and a few more videos. So, hope you enjoy. All right, there's Cannabella. We're going to have a little bit of stop motion here. Uh, thanks again to the guys from Sub City Radio giving me the inspiration on this one. Uh, this is what Scatter Scratch is all about. Um, you get an idea in your head based upon either stories or pictures or whatever. Um, and then you go to town, make a little piece of, piece of terrain here. Um, this is a full-on kit bash. Uh, there's, oh my God, I have no idea how many, <laughs> there's 3D stuff, there's GW kits. Um, yeah, it's uh, it really came together there. I can count about five different kits that I used here. Um, going on to the airbrush work here, uh, really enjoying using just the primers on these steps. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of airbrush on this. I wanted to, on this particular piece, I wanted to do a little bit more uh, brush work. So uh, these are just base base coats just to get some primer on. And uh, yeah, again, you'll notice I don't have it on everything again. But yeah, we're using brown, green, and black. And I've added inks to them to adjust the coloring a little bit. Um, yeah, here we go. We're going to put the metallics on uh, with the brush. It's been a second since I've done this. Uh, I think I got a little wild hair up my butt when I put that kit bash video out and I pulled some of those other pieces out. Um, it, uh, it brought back some memories. I wanted to do this again. Um, now that I've upgraded things, uh, back then, you know, it was only GW stuff. Um, and most of these are all GW colors. Uh, I am not being very uh, precise. Um, the camera makes it looks like I'm being way more precise than I am. But yeah, this is all very loose colors, uh, watered down. Uh, my efficiency and speed is growing faster. Um, you know, I, I sped this video up so we could get a quick little video in, but I got most of this done in an afternoon. Um, not, yeah, I was pretty excited with myself about how fast that I did this. Um, more along the lines of my planning on the video is becoming a lot more, my, my planning on... Um, how I'm going to approach these projects. Uh, having more options available and knowing how they work is just making this much more doable to a point that I'm happy with. Um, there's a point when you could critique that it's not done to the fullest extent. No, it's not. Um, I could probably jam a couple more hours onto these pieces and get them to look even more tight and, and more more um, well done, well painted in some people's uh, opinions. Yeah, I did all that. I did all that years ago. Um, went to the maximum and now I'm more along the lines of let's get some pieces done and now that I'm making videos I'm kind of glad that I am because if I were to spend another four hours on these things um, that would be no time to make any videos uh, especially in the the amount or how fast that we put out videos or that I like to work um, you know this is better than passable 
Um, here we're going to do a little bit of OSL attempt at uh, at lighting, but you know, a lot of these projects, I I time in my head how long I want to work and. What's happened is over the years, yeah, here we go. We got weathering powders going on on the direct oil again. I'm really enjoying the way that is, uh, that little manipulation is working. Um, yeah, you know, we get some, some nice shots here. We're going to have a walkthrough at the end with this video a little bit. And, uh, but anyways, you know, I say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to spend this amount of time working on it and then I upgrade my abilities just to fit that time frame. And then when I've hit that time frame, well, then we're done, you know. And if I want to come back to it later, um, I certainly can. Most of these pieces I do come back to later because, like I said, we play with them. So, you know, they get bashed up, uh, you know, storage of them, people shaking containers or, you know, trying to help. Yeah, I got to get a better camera for these walkthroughs. <laughs> Actually, I probably just need to learn how to use my cameras a little better. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, this was a nice little build. Uh, I, I am really happy she's going to be in the sump. If you're not familiar with uh, Cannabella Fritz, uh, she is a huge storyline in the Sump City Radio uh, podcasts. And has, uh, you know, I've been a fan for years now. My goodness, I can't believe it's been as long as it has been. Um, but yeah, this is only half of it. Um, I do have to make the actual dining area, which funny enough, I have the other half of all of these kits. Uh, that's going to be a video coming up here. And then um, I'm going to make an outcast gang for her. Um, I'm coming up on a name. I'm not sure uh, if anybody on the Sum City Radio Discord wanted to give me a hand with that. Um, I'm kind of going with Bella's Babes. Um, but that's, you know, I, you know, I, I, I certainly will bow down to anybody who has a better idea than that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be just a outcast gang working in my own hive. Junk bridge corners. Yeah. I suppose I better tell you guys where my part of the hive is and, and what it's called. Uh, sector four, if you didn't catch that on the last video, but, uh, yeah, we're getting to the end of it here. There's going to be the final shots. And uh, yeah, here we go. Look at how exciting that is. Of course, that picture is all still wet. Um, yeah, I want to try to get these things out to you guys as fast as possible. So you get this. So my goodness, thanks so much for stopping, you guys. And as always, please like and subscribe. <laughs>